That is disgraceful. I was about 88, 85 at my best a few years ago. And even just less than a year ago, I was doing really well. But I've fallen off the wagon quite a bit. That's shameful. So I am on a mission to drop those pounds as quick as possible. I am going to do 10 kilometers, 100 push-ups, uh, do that every day for 10 days, and we'll see uh, how it goes. I'm going to sprinkle in some sit-ups and maybe even some pull-ups if I can. We'll see where I end up. Okay, that's the first 10K finished. Bad time. Like an hour and 15 minutes, but uh, got to start from somewhere. I was uh, reading about uh, Mount Everest because I want to climb it. I'm going to climb it, but uh, I got to get my cardio in shape, or uh, or I'm gonna I'm gonna not, not do well. I read in a, our article for training on Mount Everest, and it said you should be running. Uh, under 10 minute miles very comfortably and you should be doing uh, a lot so that's kind of one of the reasons I uh, I'm doing this challenge for 10k 10 10k a day running for 10 days we'll see where I end up and if I can chisel my time down I'm actually nervous about tomorrow it's always the second or third day of starting first day is pretty easy you know you're not sore yet Anyways, you gotta start somewhere, right? And uh, I gotta get my weight down. So, anyways, Jayo, I've got uh, 50 push ups, I'll do 50 more, and, and then I'll erect the uh, pull up bar and start working up the upper body, too. But I was thinking about life on the road, and uh, I think it'll be easier because training will be sort of part of daily life riding that bike not to mention I'll be a beautiful place every uh, every every day you know and running in a unique terrain is challenging your body you know so that should be nice anyways now it's time to get to the office work a little bit on a Saturday